first impressions of this ring, just looking at it, it's a lot, it's a lot more shiny than I, I realized it was. A lot more vibrant color wise and a lot more 3D as well, actually. Even though I knew that it was almost like a mini sculpture, it really, it jumps out a lot more than I thought it did. It makes me feel really special and kind of rich actually, because you can just tell by looking at it with all the diamonds in it that it costs a fair bit. And, uh, you know, while it's a sculpture, it's not like any of the kind of costume jewelry that you see about in the shops. I thought it was made of, honestly, just metals and precious stones, but then having been told a bit more about the piece and the way that it's been made, the decoration on the top is actually made out of plasticine. And uh, you can actually see the fingerprints and that from the actual production stage of the pieces on the balls that make the top part of the ring, which I think is amazing because the artist has actually become part of the jewelry and will kind of remain there and his identity transfers over to that of the ring. I think when he designed it, the artist was trying to make a statement, but trying to make a very exclusive statement because while it is a sculpture and it is a bit costumey, it's very classic, you know, it's very pale gold that was used, all the diamonds in it. It's not something that would be worn by everybody. It's a very exclusive piece, but a very eye-catching piece as well. I chose to wear what I've worn today um, because it's a very pretty dress, it's very understated, so it doesn't detract from the ring. Um, same kind of simple use of a, you know, a, a basic material, just cotton. It's like cabbage rolled Victorian lace dress. And then the headpiece, just because, you know, there's, there's a big space between like your hands down by your sides or showing people and then your head. So I felt that the dress still needed something else as well as the ring to dress it up, although the ring is still the main piece. I think it's quite a flexible ring, but it would have to be quite a timeless outfit, something quite unique or even vintage, not something off the rack. It would have to match the person personality of the ring, really. Well, I think it's definitely a special occasion ring if you've got I don't know, a, a ball, like a, a cotillion ball or a graduate ball or a really big event to go to, or equally, you know, a friend's wedding. It would be something, a monumental event, something really special to wear the ring to. I think if my friend saw me wearing this ring, I don't know if I would have it at the end of our meeting because it's so beautiful. I think that they would definitely want to take it. Um, not only because it looks expensive, but because nobody else would have it. And it's beautiful. It's just, it's so sparkly, you know, it just draws your eye completely. It's just, oh, it's amazing. I actually don't want to give it back now. So um, that's kind of a, a measure of how much I like this ring. <laughs>